Hey, what's up everybody? Joshua Casper here with Plugin Boutique, and today we're checking out Polaris by AudioRiety. Now, this is a very unique delay reverb plugin. It's got crazy, crazy reflection, diffusion, and echo capabilities. So what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and run through some of the presets, run through some of the parameters here at the top, and then we're gonna go into deep into this thing where all of these hidden pages are. So as you can see, we've got a hidden early reflections page, a hidden diffusion page, and a hidden echo page. So let's go ahead and check out this drum loop before we jump in. Now let's pump that through the Polaris effect. Okay, so that's just a quick look at some of the presets found inside of Polaris. And I hope that gives you a good understanding of just how wide the range. So let's go ahead and just talk about the interface here. We've got our input knob, pretty standard. We've got a low or high cut, okay? Low frequency cut, high frequency cut, easy enough. Pre-delay, uh, this is gonna be how long before the delay starts after the signal source. So if you've got this on like a bass, you're probably gonna wanna put the pre-delay up pretty high so the basses aren't clashing, things like that. And we got our dry wet mix knobs right here. Again, pretty standard stuff. We also have sample rate, shimmer, width, and swell controls over here. So let's just go ahead and play with these to see what they do. So that shimmer control is actually super dope. You can hear it kind of creating this almost like a swell effect. So I wonder what the swell knob does. Oh man, listen to that, that's that's gnarly. So next up I wanna talk about the Early Reflections Diffusion and Echo system. In terms of Early Reflections, we actually have, I believe, eight different Early Reflection controls down here. And we can come in and manually adjust any one of them, okay? And then we have kind of macro knobs for each of them. So this would be the mix of everything. And here we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight right here. Those correspond to the eight down here. So they're kind of like macro knobs for this, these two combined right here. And we can also use this kind of randomize And using that many early reflections can get some really interesting results from more of the kind of delay stuff to even really nice lush reverbs. There's also the diffusion, and this has 16 different taps. And again, we can come in and adjust 
them independently or hit that random button and really just do whatever we want. So we can get some really interesting results here as well. So if you want to make things longer or shorter, you can use the time knob right here, but there are actually a couple of, you know, we can go milliseconds or sync to the DAW or tune or long. So if you want those really long delays, you can go ahead and switch that on and then control it right here. You can see that we're up to, you know, 2,500 milliseconds there. And then we have a feedback, smoothing, LFO, so modulation source. And we have the modulation rate, which we can sync or by hertz right there. And then we have the modulation amount. And we have a times 10 here if we want to make it even more aggressive. Now, the Echo also has a hidden page if you click on the plus button there. And we have the those same controls from this other side, but we also have low frequency, low gain, mid frequency, and the Q on the mid frequency. So we have a filtering EQ system down here as well, and we can really get in and start to shape that final sound. So overall, a really in-depth reverb slash delay unit that has a lot of unique capabilities and possibilities. Polaris is available right now in Plugin Boutique. Links in the video description. I'm Joshua Casper. I hope you learned something. We'll see you next time.